Hey there, Tuts fans, Derek Jensen coming to you again, and today we're going to be talking about something brand new and hot off the presses. We're going to be talking about Falcor, and I'm not talking about the 1980s film Falcor. I'm talking about a brand new way to start to interact with web applications via an API. Now, if you've paid attention to any of my courses over the last several years, you know that I deal a lot with APIs, and lately I've been dealing a lot with REST APIs. And if you have been following along or have done any sort of REST API work, you're going to know that it comes with a lot of inherent issues. It's very complicated to come up with a way to keep your resource URLs clean and how to determine what information should come back from what get requests and how do you know what consumer of your application or what consumer of your URLs need access to what sort of data. Well, all of these things are very complicated and even with the best laid plans, they can become very complicated very quickly. Well, Netflix has come up with a very interesting solution and that is the Falcor library. So over the duration of this course, I'm gonna introduce you to the Falcor library and how you can use it to very quickly build a different type of an API on your web server that's going to allow it to be very driven by the client where the client can be very specific about exactly what information it needs back, and the server is only going to respond with that. Now, does this sound complicated? Maybe in the old way of doing things, but today I'm going to show you how Falcor is going to ease the use of APIs, not only from a client perspective, but also from a server perspective. So let's get started.